morning. This is the public hearing, public meeting of February 7th, 2017. Uh, Chair Srinivasan? Here. Commissioner Brown? Here. Commissioner Chapin? Commissioner Chen? Commissioner Devonshaw? Here. Commissioner Goldblum? Commissioner Gustafson? Here. Commissioner Lipke? Here. Uh, Commissioner Shamir Barron? Here. Commissioner Voss? Give it a start to the agenda today with the public meeting items. The first item is um, uh, docket number 19-1050. This is 650. Yeah. No, uh, okay, six, uh, 615 uh, Eastern Parkway, AKA 300 New York Avenue, located within the Crown Heights North Hist Historic District 2. Um, this is a chateau-esque style row house built in circa 1899 by Frederick L. Hines. The application is to construct an addition, modify the entrance, and install a canopy was last presented December 6, 2016, and is back again today. We can uh, reopen the hearing. <laughs> I thought it was stage number five because it looked better than the bathroom going to one row. So maybe it's one of those five rooms because, of course, there's no one row, one row left for the bathroom. Um, so what we're what we're doing here is picking up on uh, here this first, picking up on the facade on New York Avenue, uh, which is uh, the site uh, of a road here, and also picking up on the profiles of the houses. Sure. Mike? Uh, 
Does it, I mean, this is your preferred alternative. Why don't we comment on this? Okay, do the commissioners have any, the commissioners have any questions? Okay. Yes, okay, so we can close the hearing? Yes, uh, Fred, go ahead. Um, first of all, thank you for, it is working, sort of. Um, thank you for a, a really good presentation, quick, snappy, and to the point. Um, uh, I think this is a very interesting, uh, delicious kind of a little design problem. Um, and I think it piqued our um, sense of that uh, at, at the first hearing, but it wasn't quite right then, I think, for a number of reasons, although interesting. Um, to me, you have it right now with this one, um, and I wanna uh, just point out a few things. Um, you know, there's so many ways to add new to old, um, and as you pointed out, there's no right answer, <coughs> but Th this takes the um, safe route, I would say, um, in a way like the surprising um, Kevin Roach design way, way back when uh, for the Jewish Museum. Uh, a very uh, modern architect surprisingly chose to replicate the existing Warburg Mansion in the Jewish Museum. And whether w one thinks that was the right or wrong thing then, um, it was an acceptable and well done scheme and I think the that institution has um, benefited fr from it. Um, and I think this is a version of that uh, for a residential building, not, a, not an institution. Um, I think the subtlety with which you've differentiated the um, new addition from the old is appropriate. We don't need it to be beaten over our head. Uh, and I'll even suggest that uh, the stair on the east side of uh, Grand Central Terminal, which my firm controversially way back when um, added with s very slight differences, 75 years after the west stair had been completed, is also uh, shown here. The subtlety of the cornice change, uh, subtle as it is, it is different. Um, so uh, I'm sure other commissioners will have other thoughts, but th this struck me as uh, hitting the right note at this point. Thank you. Uh, other comments? I agree. I just would suggest that the applicant work carefully with the staff to make sure that the, you know, the detailing on it is appropriate and that the uh, change of material choices is in detail. Other comments? All right. I just want to echo what uh, Fred said as well, and it's, it's very interesting. This is a, a topic that Flows around a lot about how to um, how to design within sensitive settings, and uh, there are certain philosophies that talk about uh, contrasting buildings. But I think uh, this commission and uh, the law itself allows us great latitude, and therefore we see surprisingly different kinds of approaches to um, uh, building new or adding additions in historic districts or to historic properties, uh, and both can work, and I, I would agree, I think this is very sensitive. I think um, there is a differentiation, but it's very subtle. I think there also, um, in the design, th there's a nod to the rhythm of the townhouse as well, which I think is um, very nicely done. Uh, so I, I think, I, overall, it's a, it's a great, um, great enlargement, and I think it's uh, just uh, much better suited for this site. I just want to comment on one other thing, which I know I had some pause about um, this building and um, the width of the building. And there was a discussion about Eastern Parkway and corners, and I think some of your analysis was actually saying that the corners fold in a different way. And uh, so I think even from that uh, standpoint, uh, in terms of the, the district itself, uh, I think it's uh, completely appropriate. So with that, uh, <coughs> in the matter of uh, 615 Eastern Parkway, also known as 300 New York Avenue, Crown Heights North Historic District 2. Um, this is an application to construct an addition, modify the entrance, and install a canopy. 
I note that the building style, scale, materials, and details are among the features that contribute to the special architectural and historic character of the Crown Heights North Historic District 2. I further note that according to the designation report, quote, among the district's most distinctive group of houses is the row at 286 to 300 uh, New York Avenue between Lincoln Place and Eastern Parkway. Uh, designed by Frederick L. Hine and constructed around the turn of the 20th century, these houses are unusual for their incorporation of French Gothic influences, several of which were completed in the rare chateauesque style, which was inspired by the monumental chateau of 16th century France, mixing Gothic elements with those of uh, the early Renaissance. Uh, with that, I uh, recommend approval noting that the work will not eliminate or destroy any significant architectural features of the building, that the massing of the enlarged building will reflect other corner conditions of the block and throughout the historic district where larger buildings bookend and frame rows of smaller houses, that the design of the extension recalls the chateau-esque uh, central spine and rounded bay of New York Avenue facade that the connector mirrors and extends the facade across the chimney axis, resulting in a harmonious and mostly symmetrical arrangement, that the extension continues the rhythm and height of the Eastern Parkway row houses, that the missing portico will be restored to the main body of the building and will reinforce the primary historic facade, that the rhythm of the fenestration relates well to the historic punched window openings on the main building and the adjacent row, and that windows will match the historic windows in terms of operation, configuration, materials, and detail, uh, that the materiality and color palette of the proposed addition, including light-colored brick and terracotta and copper-colored metal cornice and light-colored windows reflects and harmonizes with the color and material palette of the historic building and that the work will reinforce the special architectural and historic character of the row, the streetscape, and the historic district. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? 